All right. So we're here today at Moto Method again. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we're here with Dave from uh, Moto Overland. Is that right? Moto Overland? Yep, Moto Overland. I said it right. And uh, we're here today because so Dave is here actually changing tires, switching out his old one for his new one today. Uh, Dave, what do you say? This is the old... This is a Heidenau K60 Scout right here. And this is actually the second one I've run. And uh, first one I had for about 16,000 kilometers. Wow. So they're definitely known to have an excellent lifespan. That's really good. Um, and a good tire is a 50-50 tire, so good in gravel and dirt and so forth. Uh, you can see it's fairly open without being uh, as open as like a full dirt tire, but that also gives it good manners on the pavement, uh, whether it's uh, wet or dry. Um, now the one thing about the this newer version that I ran is they added a, a center strip to them um, to increase the uh, wear resistance so the lifespan of it was a little bit longer but consequently that made it uh, not quite as good in dirt and gravel with that center uh, band um, so I was looking for something that had similar attributes to this but uh, was a little bit better in the dirt and this is where this new tire comes in this is a Midas uh, E09 right here and uh, they both actually been out for a little while you can see they have a very similar overall tread pattern. This has smaller tread blocks, but the gaps between the blocks are very, very similar. And that kind of chevron shape uh, is very similar as well. But there's no center band. So really what I'm looking for to this tire is a little bit better uh, dirt performance and uh, gravel performance out of this one with a similar lifespan. Um, from what I've heard, this has a very similar feel overall. So it should be uh, pretty good on the pavement, wet or dry. And again, should last for uh, at least kind of 16,000 kilometers ish depending on uh, the rider and uh, so forth. So that's kind of the difference on these two. Now I'm doing another uh, change on the front as well. Um, lifespan of the rear tire is always uh, very important uh, for someone who spends a lot of time on pavement as well, like myself. But up front, it's not as much of an issue. So I typically run a TKC uh, 80 Continental tire in the front. And uh, again, very happy with its overall performance. Um, in uh, pavement and off-road, but I did want something a little more off-road worthy and a stiffer casing. These are a little bit soft in the casing, so when you hit stuff hard off-road, uh, the, the casing is, doesn't have quite as much support as a true dirt tire. So this is a Midas uh, E10 right here, and uh, it's uh, again a little bit more open, especially around the sides here, and has a much stiffer casing as well. So, uh, and very long center blocks, so it should still work well on the pavement in terms of uh, braking performance, it won't ramp off too much, um, that kind of thing. So again, this is looking like it could be a good candidate for similar wear uh, lifespan and similar uh, kind of road performance, but a little bit better performance in the dirt. Very nice. Um, so that's kind of, uh, I'll have to report back and let you know what <laughs> I think. Awesome. So Dave, one question for you. I couldn't help notice that you had a hide now in the back and you have a continent on the front. But today you're switching to two tires that are exactly the same. Is there a reason for your mix match versus a, a matching set today? Uh, it's more finding the right uh, tire to do the job. I know uh, some people frown upon mixing brands because they're going to have different profiles yeah. and different feels. I've not found that to be a problem with these, uh, with the Continental and the, and the uh, Hyde now. But I prefer to have a more aggressive front tire, uh, especially for dirt and gravel. And uh, Hyde now doesn't offer that and whereas Midas did. So mm -hmm. that's why we're basically running a, a Midas uh, E10 in the front. There is an E07 front mate that looks very similar to that back yeah, one. Yeah, they do look very close to each other. I just yeah. yeah, so that's, uh, it just so happens that Midas has kind of uh, both tires in the line that I'm looking for uh, in terms of uh, performance and what I want out of a tire. Very nice. Whereas Hyde now uh, doesn't at this point. Hmm. But Hyde now still has a tire brand, still offers a tire with a considerable amount of mileage out of it. Oh, provided excellent. it's used more for roads yes. than dirt. Yeah, if your preference. bias was, uh, if you're doing a longer road trip, yeah. uh, the Hyde Now is absolutely one of the best choices oh, out nice. there. Oh, nice. good to know. There's, yeah. there's no question about that. Um, here, as you know, it's uh, the riding is, is pretty wet, and yeah. pretty rooty, pretty rocky, and that's where, again, I'm looking for, yeah, off-road, I'm looking for a bit more uh, traction than the Hyde Now, but the Hyde Now is an excellent choice for someone who's a bit more pavement or less intensive off-road nice. oriented. Awesome. Well, thanks, Dave. I really appreciate you telling us uh, what you think about these tires. Uh, well, guys, that's it. That's the update on the tires. Uh, please stay tuned or keep a good grip for our next video on tires review. We'll see you soon.